Yo, this is one about sine compression, which is a way to turn simple sine waves into kind of complex neural bases. So we've got this um, this one node base here. This is just a sub node. You can see here. Um, you probably won't actually be able to hear this on most most of your like phone speakers. So maybe wear headphones for this um, saturator. We're just gonna saturate this, add in filter movement, saturate this, add in filter movement, basically over and over again. So like, let's just introduce our first few harmonics here. Then we can get our EQ and just make it move around a bit. Just gonna use a random to kind of get something quickly. Um, you can put a lot more care into this and you'll get better results, obviously, as always. Um, so just kind of gonna gonna add some, some EQ thingies here that kind of move around randomly. Um, kind of classic Nero technique. And this way, basically, we are kind of filtering out these harmonics the saturator is adding in back again. Like if we did this before the saturator, there wouldn't be anything to filter. So we can kind of do this. Saturator EQ. And then we basically just repeat this and we kind of ideally repeat this with a bit more care. Meaning like um, we set up each saturator and EQ individually and really make something that sounds cool. But because uh, you don't have time to watch way too long videos on YouTube and I uh, just want to get this done quickly, I'm just going to basically repeat this. And because each of these has kind of a different random, there's going to be a bit of interesting movement. Maybe let's just... Let's just repeat this and this way you can kind of build your little neural base. Maybe change the, the speed of some of these and kind of shift some of these around a little bit. Just to kind of keep things interesting. And then we can put an OTT at the end. You can also just change our BPM to kind of make these move faster or slower. Ah oh, no, they're not BPM linked. Never mind, I didn't say anything. Um, yeah, that's the, the basic idea behind sign compression. If you do this properly, you get a lot nicer sounds out of this. You can get some, like these are kind of sign compression style basses. Uh, this kind of thing here. Yeah, this kind of sound. Is what you can get um, if you do this with a bit more care. So, um, sign compression. Cheers.